Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be talking about days out in Florida. Uh, if you're staying in Orlando. So let's jump right into it. Now you can get some absolutely amazing days out if you're stand, uh, staying in Orlando, which is in Florida, there, there is absolutely a ton of things uh, to do in Orlando, such as um, Orlando um, Shopping Centre, um, there's the uh, Orlando Visitor Centre, um, there's also the Magic King Dome, SeaWorld, Universal Studios, Universal I Island, Adventure Park, um, Discovery Code, um, Disney Hollywood, which used to be when I went, um, MGM Studios, and um, there's also the Epcot Center, Animal Kingdom, and Legoland um, in Florida, and uh, that is basically one resort also in Orlando there's Wet and Wild um, which is a ba a basically a water park a really huge water park which again looks a lo at lots of fun but we unfortunately didn't have time to go there um, outside and other parts of Florida, there's uh, Tampa Zoo, and uh, there's Bush Gardens theme park, and um, there's also uh, Daytona Beach and um, the Kennedy Space Center. So again, a wide right a variety of things to do. Um, that's a part from as well. Um, going down say to um, Miami or if you're staying in Miami go to the Florida Keys or staying in the Florida Keys then then you can go to Miami and um, again it is a long drive again to D uh, Daytona Beach and Kennedy Space Centre for uh, from Orlando but it is definitely worth it definitely 100 percent um so yes um the, the beaches um again are, are very nice um in florida um Again, uh, temperature-wise, uh, Florida, again, is one of the hotter states because it's one of the so uh, southern states um, of America. So in July, June, July, August, it can get hot or very hot and, and very humid as well. Um, yes, um, I would say probably about 90 or even 100 degrees at Celsius July August time um, so yes it can it can get very hot and it can get very humid at night though you you can get a downpour in rain and but it basically it when it rains it thrashes it down and thunderstorms and everything, lightning and everything. So, um, again, you do you do have to be wary. And um, again, there's lots of accommodation around F uh, Florida, um, such as hotels, motels, apartments. Um, there's um, or uh, there's um, say also um, say th uh, villas or 
other self catering accommodation as well um so yes um again it in my opinion it is definitely a place to be recommended for um a lot of age groups uh, from young children to older children um to teenagers to adults and um, so yes i think that is something for everybody as well um i mean ma many like hotels and mo uh, motels also have um swimming pools and parks and um, other facilities as well as um, you can also book trip packages and um, you can book them online and you can also put uh, have the IP packages as well which obviously you pay more but obviously um, you may uh, be able to jump the queue to get on the ride so it doesn't take you as long um again there's lots of car parking around and um also monorails to take you to um the actual theme park itself excuse me i've got a cold and uh, yes Again, there's lots of souvenir shops as well. Um, if you say didn't fa uh, fancy go uh, going to a theme park and, and for a drive, um, not far away as well. So, and there's also the shopping centre or mall not not far away excuse me and yes um i would definitely say that it um is definitely a hundred percent worth going uh, to definitely if you get the, the chance um Again, for younger children, um, Sea World, The Magic Kingdom, and Animal Kingdom, at Cop Centre, Legoland, um, Kennedy Space Centre, uh, Daytona Beach, Discovery Centre, Disney's Hollywood. Um, again, are all all recommended. Again, for older children. Um, again, there, uh, there's also Sea World, um, Wet n Wild, um, again, the Turner Beach, Kennedy Space Centre, Temple Zoo, uh, Bush Gardens, and uh, the uh, Disney, um, Universal Islands and Universal Studios. Again, there's a wide variety to do for each um, age group so um yes um also um eating out's not a problem there's um also a cafe in the visitor center um there's also restaurants lots of different types of restaurants from steakhouses to mcdonald's to kfc all dot, uh, dotted around um, Orlando and there's other types of restaurants as well um, which is absolutely fantastic but um, yes um, if I was uh, to pick, uh, pick a place that um, I did um, really enjoy them at most and it would have to be the Magic Kingdom just because of the parades um, day and night 
but that doesn't mean to say I really didn't enjoy um, SeaWorld or Epcot Centre because, or Universal Studios or Kennedy Space Centre because they were all amazing. Um, but um, I just um, enjoyed the Magic Kingdom just that that bit more. Um, just because of the parades day and night um, basically but um, they're all in my opinion equally uh, fantastic and definitely uh, well worth a visit um, so yes um, you can also go out to season if you um, want the weather to be more comfortable and uh, not so hot and uh, you also may get it cheaper out of season um, I would definitely again look at your package before you go um, because it is cheaper than p uh, paying on the door book booking and paying on the door but again it's up to you if you're not sure where you want to go to um, then again I would definitely read up again on the theme parks in advance but um, yes um, it looks even more amazing um, than what uh, what it was when I went and it, it just looks utterly amazing even when I my brother and I went and um, when we were kids it was absolutely amazing so um, definitely um, a place to visit for people all ages in my opinion so thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and please share like and comment and i'll see you in the next video which is going to be celebrity specials and uh, then i'll go more in depth of uh, basically what celebrities like to do on holiday and where celebrities like to stay um, so uh, please keep watching, thank you and I'll see you on Sunday for Celebrity Specials, thank you, bye.